The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD, has become one of the most talked about projects in Africa. Built on the Blue Nile, this mega dam has already reshaped Ethiopia's energy sector and changed regional geopolitics. But according to Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, GERD is only the beginning. Ethiopia is now planning something even more ambitious, a nuclear power plant. Ethiopia today is already a continental leader in clean energy. An impressive 90% of its electricity is generated from renewable sources, primarily hydropower. This strong foundation has set the stage for an ambitious diversification into other green technologies, positioning Ethiopia at the forefront of Africa's sustainable energy transition. At the heart of this is the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. This colossal structure is a national symbol of ambition. Once fully operational, it will generate a staggering 6,450 megawatts, making it Africa's largest power project. This output is designed to increase energy security and power a new wave of industrialization. Beyond its rivers, Ethiopia is harnessing the wind sweeping across its vast highlands. Large-scale wind farms like the Adama and Asia projects are now prominent features of the landscape. Their towering turbines contribute thousands of megawatts to the national grid, diversifying the country's energy portfolio. Simultaneously, the power of the sun is being captured for rural electrification. While mega projects connect cities, decentralized solar projects are spreading across remote villages. These off-grid installations are critical, bringing light to homes and powering schools where the national grid has yet to reach. Deep beneath the earth, another resource is being unlocked. In the geologically active Rift Valley, geothermal plants like Aludo Langano and Corbetti tap into immense underground heat. This provides a constant, reliable source of baseload power operating 24 7 and stabilizing the entire grid. Together, this multi-pronged approach is creating the backbone for a modern economy, powering factories, electric railways, and new industries. The vision extends beyond Ethiopia's borders. By exporting surplus clean energy to neighbors like Kenya and Sudan, Ethiopia is fostering regional integration and positioning itself as the green energy hub of East Africa. But there's a challenge. Hydropower is vulnerable to climate change. Droughts can reduce water levels, cutting electricity production. Wind and solar, while powerful, are intermittent. They only produce when the wind blows or the sun shines. And Ethiopia's population is growing rapidly. By 2050, Ethiopia may have over 200 million people. With industrialization, cities and new industries, electricity demand will multiply. This is where nuclear energy comes in. In 2025, as the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam became fully operational, the nation celebrated a monumental achievement. But at the inauguration, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed unveiled an even bolder vision, the construction of Ethiopia's first peaceful nuclear power plant, signaling the start of a new ambitious chapter. He framed it as the next great mega project, a successor to the GERD in scale and importance. The goal is complete energy sovereignty, powering Ethiopia's rapid industrialization and meeting the demands of a growing population. It's a strategic move to diversify beyond hydropower, which is vulnerable to climate change-induced droughts. This declaration didn't come from nowhere. The groundwork has been laid for years. In 2019, Ethiopia signed an agreement with Russia's Rosatom to explore nuclear cooperation. Simultaneously, the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, has been a crucial partner, providing guidance on legal frameworks, safety protocols, and training a new generation of Ethiopian nuclear scientists and engineers. The strategy is incremental. The immediate steps involve building smaller research reactors. These will serve as training grounds and kickstart advanced programs in nuclear medicine and agriculture, offering benefits long before the main plant is online. But the ultimate objective is unwavering. A full-scale commercial nuclear power plant generating gigawatts of clean energy by the mid-2030s. Of course, going nuclear is not easy. The path is fraught with immense challenges that test a country's financial strength, technical prowess, and diplomatic skill. 1. Cost a nuclear plant can cost tens of billions of dollars. Ethiopia will need a complex web of international financing from development banks and global partners. Forging these strategic partnerships for both funding and crucial technology transfer is the first and perhaps highest hurdle. 1. Safety and security. Nuclear energy requires strict safeguards and a culture of absolute vigilance to prevent accidents and protect against misuse. 
This means implementing world-class security protocols and adhering to the stringent, verifiable guidelines of bodies like the International Atomic Energy Agency. 1. Infrastructure Ethiopia must build not just the plant, but also the entire ecosystem around it. This includes a robust regulatory system and a multi-generational investment in human capital, training a new class of nuclear physicists, engineers, and technicians to manage it safely. 1. Political Factors International concerns, especially in a sensitive region like the Horn of Africa, may complicate the process. Announcing a nuclear program, even for peaceful purposes, draws intense scrutiny. Ethiopia will need transparent diplomacy to build trust with neighbors and global powers. That's why Ethiopia says its nuclear program will be strictly for peaceful purposes, focusing only on energy and medical research to demonstrate its commitment to responsible development. If Ethiopia succeeds, the impact will be enormous. Domestically, Ethiopia will guarantee 24 7 reliable power, supporting factories, railways, and digital industries. This could push Ethiopia into a new stage of industrial growth. Regionally, nuclear energy combined with renewables will allow Ethiopia to export massive amounts of power across East Africa. Countries like Kenya, Sudan, and Djibouti will benefit, making Ethiopia a true regional powerhouse. Globally, Ethiopia would join the small group of African nations pursuing nuclear energy alongside South Africa and Egypt. This would strengthen its international standing and showcase Ethiopia's ambition to lead Africa's development. So, what does Ethiopia's energy future look like? Hydropower from GERD and other dams will remain the backbone. Solar and wind farms will expand across the highlands and rural regions. Geothermal energy from the Rift Valley will provide stable baseload power. And by the 2030s, nuclear power could rise as Ethiopia's ultimate game changer. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam proved Ethiopia's determination to achieve big dreams. Now, with nuclear energy on the horizon, Ethiopia is preparing for the next chapter in its story. The question is no longer if Ethiopia can power its future, but how far it will go. What do you think? Will Ethiopia succeed in building a nuclear power plant, or should it focus only on renewables? Share your thoughts in the comments below.